Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Are you ready to tackle the big bad boss of the fire club? I am because I rebalanced my deck at the end of the last part. So here we go. I am Ken the Fire Club Master. You've heard this dialogue before. Let's <laughs> see so if you've collected more cards. Let's begin our duel. Would you like to duel Ken? You bet I would. Six prizes for the medal. Let's do the Fire Charge deck! Now, despite him being the Fire Guy, he doesn't really use all that many Fire Pokémon. Um, he has the Growlithe and Arcanine line, as well as the lovable level 31 Magmar, if I'm not mistaken. Or maybe it's a, uh, the weaker Magmar It has Fire Punch and Flamethrower, but you know, has less HP and whatnot. I'm saying not this version of Magmar, I forgot the level of that Magmar, but anyway. Um, but the main majority of his Pokémon are colorless Pokémon. The strategy of his deck is to do massive amounts of damage that also kind of give him recoil damage, like say Chansey is double edge, Arcanine's takedown, Jigglypuff's double edge, that sort of thing. And he, he basically wants to rush you into submission, so I guess he uses this version of Magmar. Yeah, I forgot which, which of the two he had there, but that's okay. We'll be fine with that Magmar, it's not as threatening as my Magmar. <laughs> I'm tempted to get an Arcanine out just because I got Growlithe there and, you know, just just sweep the heck out of him. Because I got Computer Search in my hand here, but uh, he's not going to be able to knock out my Magmar anyway, so Smokescreen it is. And hopefully he won't be able to Fire Punch it. We'll see, though. <laughs> oh, Pokeball, please get Tails. Okay, good. Got sort of a risky trainer card, so... Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I should have checked which Pokémon he's got on his uh, bench and whatnot. Let's see, he's got Growlithe, Growlithe, okay. We know those. We know those pretty well. Alright, let's get... I guess I can get a Smog going here. This seems like a wise investment. Ah! Oh! Well, at the very least, it'll put pressure on him because he's, he's gonna have to decide whether or not to attack my Magmar with his Magmar or switch it out. You'll see what he'll do now. Okay, he's not attack. I mean, he is attacking and he's not switching, so I'm gonna be able to knock out that Magmar on the next turn with Smog, guaranteed. Good. Okay, let's get. Uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna go for that RK9. But for now, Smog it up. Fill this room with stink that will cause great scratchy throats of irritation. <laughs> Alright, so... Oh, Tauros. That won't be pretty. <laughs> Tauros is kind of a troublesome Pokémon if, <clears throat> if you get it powered up, and he loves to power up Tauros on the bench. Uh, <laughs> Maybe I should prepare another Magmar, and I should go for... instead of Arcanine, because I'm probably going to get an Arcanine later on in the game. I'm going to dig through my deck to see if there's actually one in the deck here. Uh, okay, there's one Arcanine, and wait, 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 wait. Okay, they're both in the deck. Okay, good. So, anyway, what I'm gonna do here is give myself a better hand. Press rope, draw seven. Seven is better than nothing. <laughs> uh, oh, Raticate. Very nice. Get that set up. And Arcanine. Very nice. Alright. Energy removal. Stall out Growlithe, hopefully, and hopefully our head's coin flip, nope. Too bad! So sad! That's okay, though. I'm stalling him out decently enough. That's why you want to streamline your deck, uh, like I was mentioning in the last part, because the tidier cards are that you're, you know, that you're packing it in with the best possible cards you can, the better your chances of getting uh, the best possible cards, so yeah. Alright, so, Bill. Very nice. And cards that help you draw, also great for decks. Okay. Um, hmm. I wonder if I should just focus on powering up RK9. Or, I don't know. Because he might go RK9 on me. He loves RK9 and he tends to bring it out pretty often. Arrgh. Hmm. I'll go for the smog, just to put the pressure on him. Ah! I can't get a poison! <laughs> well, he's probably gonna want to switch anyway. Although he might not, we'll see. 
By the way, that uh, Jigglypuff he's powering up, I do believe, is the special promotional version of Jigglypuff. Um, if I'm not mistaken... Um, wait, 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 did I s Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, it's not the promotion. Oh, the promotion was the level 12 Jigglypuff, that's right, okay. Forgot about that. Uh, must memorize... Energy. I mean, must memorize levels better. Smog time! There we go. Bye-bye, Growlithe! And hopefully you won't have any more energy cards. <laughs> what do I get? Fire energy! Very nice. Okay, this has been a pretty back-and-forth battle so far. There's promotional Jigglypuff! Which uh, you get with the soundtrack of the Pokemon in the first movie. Way, 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 way back when that was released. <laughs> uh, Alright, I wonder if I should attack with Machop. Because that'll, that'll really tick him off here. Because watch us. Retreats, go to Machop. Um, I could use the plus power to increase it a little bit more, but... Nah. But the, the thing about this is it's going to really put him in a bind here. Because he's got uh, colorless Pokemon here, colorless Pokemon here, and here. So chances are the next Pokemon he's going to send out uh, will be Growlithe. And Growlithe only has the Flare Attack, which takes two energy cards. Which I'll be able to stall him out with um, energy removal by taking away the energy on Jigglypuff. How's that for strategy? <laughs> Alright, let's see what he does. Yep, he's switching. And he might decide to power up. No, he ran out of energy cards. That probably means that I've won this game. <laughs> There's a very, very good chance of that, but we'll see how things go. Uh, I'm not going to take any chances here. So what I'm going to do is retreat to our canine and really, really bring the smack down. <laughs> and this is actually Ken's strategy, is to do the... The heavy damage like that, to just keep sweeping out a Pokémon, even if you do damage to yourself like that. Uh, it's it's the whole idea of putting massive amounts of pressure on the opponent. And uh, I see that Professor Oak in there, oh yeah, yeah, I'm not gonna forget about that. But for now, I'm going to uh, make use of the cards in my hand the best I can before I use Professor Oak. And just continue to sweep with Arcane Eye nice and safely. And since I rebalanced my deck last part, I should be able to get ample fire energy cards for Arcanine if I played uh, Professor Oak. So yeah, this uh, this game's probably done. <laughs> uh, I'm definitely going to want to use uh, Takedown Attack next turn, but I'm going to see if I want to do something with his Pokemon. I suppose I could energy removal that Jigglypuff, just to make it even more unfair for him. And I uh, guess I'll get this set up. And take down. Bye bye, Taros! <laughs> Feel the power! Feel the power! <laughs> Actually, I don't really think his deck was working all uh, super well, or maybe maybe it was, and I've just been offsetting everything that he knows and loves with his deck, just because of decent draws and whatnot. Um, yeah, this is it. I'll I'll just use take down or flamethrower, and it's done. But, uh, oh, no space on the bench. But let's see what else I can do here, just for fun. I can't even play pl Gust of Wind, because he's only got one Pokemon out there. I'm gonna, like, have a double win going on here. Because he won't have bench Pokemon, and I'm gonna take all the prize cards. It could have been a triple win if I would have did that on his last card, too. But it really there's no such thing as a double or triple win. I'm just joking around here. <laughs> and let's see what I get with Professor Oak, just for the fun of it. La 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 la, doo 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 doo. That's super energy removal, wow. Uh, I can't really play any of these cards, but I just wanted to see what I had here. Alright, flamethrower with 2 plus powers, overkill, 70 damage. I win! <laughs> that was fun! Woo! That was a great duel. Here, let me give you this. Four out of eight Master Medals have been won. With this, you're a little closer to the legendary Pokemon cards. Here, take this too. I hope it'll help you out. Mystery Booster Packs. Needle Queen. Hmm. That's a colorless energy Magmar... Uh, pff, Magmar Flareon. Uh, here's right on. Could cause some ire for opponents. Pretty teeny for that elusive Dragonair that I love so much. 
Uh, okay, let's see what we get. Uh, oh, different version of Zapdos here. It's another high energy cost Zapdos, but this one uh, is for a different kind of deck. See, you flip a coin for each of your opponent's bench Pokemon, and it does 20, 20 damage to them if you get heads, but... If you get Tails, it does 10 damage to itself, so it's kind of a risky card, especially since it only has 10 HP and it takes so long to power up. So, your call if you want to do that one. Another colorless EV evolution. Uh, Pokemon Center, very nice. Um, okay, we're good. Let's play it. He did duel again. See you later. See ya, man! And now what I'm going to do here is go over to the Grass Club. I'd like to do a little trade here. Remember this girl? Hi, did you bring me an Oddish? You traded Oddish for my Vile Plume? Yes. Here we go! Here we go! Oh yeah! And I needed to do this trade to activate the next trade that she's got. Um, a little bit later on, so yeah. Vile Plume. I got a rare card for a common card. That was a totally, totally unfair trade, but if it makes her happy... Okay, <laughs> thanks for the card. I'll take good care of it. Thanks, uh, okay, I'm gonna leave here and then come back for a sec. Hold on, I just wanna... Yeah, see if she resets her dialogue here. Uh, oh, no, I guess I gotta wait for her, uh, other trade a little bit later, huh? Huh, huh. So, what should I do next? Let's go over to Ishihara's house and see if he's got a trade going on here. I guess you're here because you heard the rumor that I'm looking for a Clefable. I'm thinking about trading my surfing Pikachu for it. Do you have a Clefable? Do I have one? Nah, I don't. That's unfortunate. Well, I can get a Clefable a little bit later on in the game. But, for now, what I think I'm gonna do... Is end off the part here. <laughs> I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you in the next part when I head over to the next location to play a game, and I'm, it's not gonna be at the Mason Laboratory. I just came back here to save my game, because I can't really do so on the map. 